Female gymnasts are often pushed to their limits to achieve success in their sport. However, the intense pressure to succeed can sometimes lead to serious physical and mental health consequences for these athletes. Many female gymnasts have spoken out about it, but given that these things even happen in the first place is a cause for concern. In today's video, we'll take a look at some of these gymnasts who were pushed beyond their limits, starting off with Elena Mukina at number 8. Elena Mukina was a talented and successful gymnast who achieved great success in her career. However, despite her determination and hard work, she was faced with a tragic setback when she suffered a broken leg just before the 1980 Olympics. Rather than allowing her time to heal and recover, her coaches pressured her to compete, disregarding the advice of medical professionals. Elena tried to stand up for herself and make it clear that she was not physically ready to train and compete at such a high level, but she was ultimately forced to go through with it. Tragically, her weakened leg caused her to under-rotate during a training session, leading to a catastrophic injury that left her quadriplegic for the rest of her life. This incident highlights the harsh and sometimes dangerous pressure that athletes can face performing at the highest levels, even when their bodies are not fully healed and ready. Following up, we've got Kerry Strug for number 7. Kerry Strug was a member of the Magnificent Seven, the U.S. gymnastics team that competed in the 1996 Olympics. During the competition, she suffered a serious ankle injury while performing a vault. Despite her injury and obvious pain, her coach Bella Caroli encouraged her to continue and attempt another vault. Kerry asked her coach if it was necessary and he told her, you have to do it. The U.S. needed her to land the vault to secure a victory over the Russians. Kerry ultimately succeeded in landing the vault, becoming a hero and going down in history for her bravery and determination. However, after briefly standing on two feet, she collapsed in pain and had to be carried off the floor by her coach. She later received her gold medal while still in pain from her injury. This incident highlights the intense pressure and demands that athletes can face in high-stakes competitions. Next up at number six, we have Julissa Gomez. Julissa Gomez was a talented and ambitious young gymnast who dreamed of competing in the Olympics. However, her dreams were tragically cut short when she suffered a devastating injury during a practice vault. According to the New York Times, Julissa had been practicing this particular vault for three years but had never been able to successfully land it. Despite this, her coaches pressured her to continue pushing herself and told her that she needed to work harder to succeed in her sport. Tragically, Julissa's efforts to meet the demands of her coaches resulted in a catastrophic injury that left her paralyzed. She died just three years later at the age of 18. This incident serves as a cautionary tale of the dangers of placing too much pressure on young athletes and the importance of prioritizing their health and well-being. It also highlights the risks of pushing athletes to perform at levels that may not be safe or sustainable for them. It is also one of the worst forms of forced work for which her team should have been held accountable, especially given the fact that Gomez was not even 18 at the time when this incident took place. To say that this was tragic is to put it lightly. Coming up at number 5, it's Dominique Moshianu. Dominique Moshianu is a former Olympic gymnast who has first-hand experience with the intense pressure and demands faced by female gymnasts at the highest level of competition. In a social media post, Dominique shared her own story of feeling pressured to compete despite an injury. Alongside a video of herself getting injured during a beam routine, she wrote that she was just 14 years old and had a tibial stress fracture at the time. Despite her injury, she was left alone and did not receive a cervical spine exam after the fall. Despite this, she was expected to compete in the Olympic floor final just minutes later. In her post, Dominique emphasized the importance of standing up for oneself and taking control of one's own health, even at the Olympic level. She praised Simone Biles for making the decision to prioritize her own well-being and opt out of competing when she wasn't in the right headspace. Dominique's story highlights the harsh realities of the pressure and demands placed on female gymnasts and the importance of advocating for oneself and one's own health in such a high-stakes environment. Furthermore, it also makes you understand how when you stand for yourself, you're also empowering so many other people in the process. When Simone Biles decided to make the historical decision to opt out, she changed the course of history. More on that later. Now let's learn about Sang Lan for number four. In 1998, Sang Lan, a Chinese gymnast, was just 17 years old when she suffered a devastating spinal cord injury during a routine warm-up at the Goodwill Games. The incident was a tragic reminder of the inherent risks involved in gymnastics and raised serious concerns about safety in the sport. While the specific details of the incident are not clear, it is known that Sang Lan suffered a spinal cord injury as a result of the accident. This type of injury can have serious and lasting effects on a person's physical and mental health, including paralysis, loss of sensation, and mobility, and chronic pain. It is likely that Sang Lan's injury was a major setback for her career and had a significant impact on her quality of life. In recent years, Sang Lan has taken legal action against Time Warner and the U.S. Gymnastics Federation, alleging that they failed to fulfill their promise to pay for her medical bills and meet her needs following the injury. She has sought $1.65 billion in damages. Lan's case highlights the importance of ensuring that athletes are properly supported and cared for in the wake of serious injuries and the consequences that can arise when those obligations are not met. Unfortunately, she was unable to continue, but hopefully her voice could become someone else's 
classes that needs it. We're now at the last three entries. First up, we have Claudia Fragapan, British gymnast Claudia Fragapan knows firsthand the intense pressure and demands faced by Olympic athletes, as she competed in the Rio Olympics in 2016. In an interview with the BBC, Claudia spoke about her own experiences with mental blocks and how they can lead to dangerous situations. She described how she fell into qualifying events, and again after experiencing a mental block resulting in a head injury that could have serious consequences. Despite escaping permanent damage, Claudia's experience left a lasting impact on her and serves as a reminder of the dangers of self-doubt and the importance of mental resilience in high-stakes sports. As Claudia pointed out, it's really dangerous if you doubt yourself a little bit or you find it really hard, you can really, really hurt yourself. She emphasized the importance of standing up for oneself and taking care of one's mental and physical health, even in the face of intense pressure and competition. Following up for the second last entry, it's Alicia Sacramone. Alicia Sacramone knows firsthand how it feels to face pressure while competing. She even offered some of her views regarding Simone Biles' decision to back out from Olympic events. Sacramone could be seen supporting her by explaining how the pressure that gymnasts feel is just unmatched. The fact that being the best and still not feeling that way is something that she's shown. Not sure if she was aware of it, but back in the 2008 Olympics, Alicia explicitly said that her team had won silver and not gold because of her own mistakes. Alicia's coach had forced her to keep competing even after a few setbacks before the 2008 Olympics happened. This led to her not being able to convince herself that she made the right decision. It's worth mentioning that Alicia is US's fourth most decorated female gymnast, and the fact that even after all, that she felt like she wasn't doing enough or that she isn't pushing hard is just mind-numbingly painful. Following the 2008 Olympic Games, she decided to retire at just the age of 21. Last but not least, we have Simone Biles for number one. Simone Biles is widely recognized as one of the greatest athletes of all time, having achieved unparalleled success in the sport of gymnastics. As the GOAT, she has faced numerous challenges and difficult experiences in her life, including living in foster homes and being abused by former team doctor Larry Nasser. Despite these challenges, Simone has persevered and worked tirelessly to achieve her goals, becoming one of the most decorated gymnasts in history. Simone gained attention when she decided to withdraw from several events at the Tokyo Olympics due to concerns about her mental health. Rather than pushing herself to the limit and potentially jeopardizing her well-being, Simone made the courageous decision to focus on supporting her teammates and prioritizing her own mental health. However, with great success comes great pressure, and Simone has faced a tremendous amount of expectation and scrutiny from the world. As an Olympic athlete, she is expected to be perfect and to perform at the highest level consistently. This pressure can be overwhelming and can take a toll on an athlete's mental and physical health. Simone has made it clear that she will not compromise her own well-being for the sake of her career. She has spoken out about the immense pressure that athletes face and the importance of taking care of oneself. By sharing her experiences and advocating for the well-being of athletes, Simone is providing support and guidance to others who may be struggling with similar issues. She is a role model not only for her athletic achievements, but also for her strength and resilience in the face of adversity. That's a wrap for this video. How do you feel about this trend regarding pushing athletes, especially female athletes beyond their limits? And what would you do if you were in their place? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. We'll see you at the next one.